Well, the 4th of July weekend always meets fireworks, family picnics, and of course, a new Will Smith movie. This time, Will plays a superhero who has a taste for booze and bad behavior. The movie is called Hancock, and here to tell us if it's worth your box office dollar, Jess Cagle, People Magazine executive editor and early show entertainment contributor. Good morning on Good this morning, holiday Chris. weekend. How, How are, are you? you? So, right off the bat, before we show a clip, did you like this? I actually liked it a lot. It's getting beaten up by the critics, but I thought it was really original, a lot of fun. Everybody's going to go see it. Let's take a look at a clip right now from Will Smith's new 4th of July weekend blockbuster, Hancock. And give yourselves up quietly. All right, Jess, what is going on here? <laughs> so he's a superhero who has sort of become dissolute. He's basically living on the streets. He has a drinking problem. He clearly, <laughs> as you can see from that clip, has, has some anger management issues. So he ends up hooking up with Jason Bateman, who plays a publicist. He helps Jason Bateman out of a scrape, and then Jason Bateman kind of takes him under his wing and says, let's rehabilitate you publicly. And you've never seen a superhero like this before. I, I, I really loved it, and the action sequences are great. The, the track record, Will Smith, on this holiday weekend, going back to Independence Day back in the mid-90s, I mean, is this another block, but is this another $100 million first weekend type thing? Uh, if, if they make $100 million, they will be shattered Really? <laughs> yeah, they're looking closer to 150 million, something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. That big, huh? It's gonna be, it's gonna be really big. Reviews haven't been great on this, though. Everything that I've read, it's two out of five stars, one and a half out yeah. of four stars. I mean, you liked it. I did. I, I think maybe because I'd read some of the reviews and my expectations were low going in, but I think the critics thought it was just a little too earnest uh, because you know it's 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 very serious. It's, yeah. it's basically about a guy who's going through recovery, but you know <laughs> he he also you know flies. This is things like that. This is Superman without the cape and more booze. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Is Will Smith... Had a little mental illness thrown <laughs> out. Exactly, a little bit of everything. Pretty dark. Uh, I mean, is he critic-proof, though? I mean, can... It looks like, at this point, he is the type of actor that can get bad reviews, but people are still going to go see whatever he does. He is impervious. The trailers, as you saw that clip, how, how could you be a 15-year-old boy and not want to go see that clip? It's rated yeah. PG-13, so it's not off-limits really to anybody, so it's going to do fine. So we are saying, basically, this will be another Will Smith huge success story, right? Right. All right. Let's talk about our next movie right now, Kit Kittredge, An American Girl. Well, if you have a little girl, you know all about the American Girl dolls, and you've probably spent $150,000 on yeah, them. Yeah, so the little kids are going to go to this in droves. Let's take a look at a clip from this. Kit Kittredge, an American Girl. Who is it? Margaret Mildred Kittredge. What do you want? To be in print. Well, how do I say this nicely? She's sorry, Mr. Gibson. Come on, kid. Yeah, that's right. I am sorry. I'm sorry you can't recognize a good story when it's standing right outside your door. All right, Jess, I wanted to bring a couple of these you from know, my the home collection. The way you collection. look at that doll, I know, it makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> they are adorable. These dolls are worth $35,000. Wait, there's one right there. The movie, so the, these are, as I think, some characters from the movie. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not all that familiar with American Girl lore. Oh, don't lie to me. Come on. But, but um, the movie is adorable. Like yeah. It's one of those rare movies that's based on a toy franchise. American that, Girl, right? Right. The movie is good. And these are the dolls and, of course, the books, the marketing alone. This thing is going to make millions. Abigail Breslin, uh, adorable little uh, young 12 lady. Twelve years old, adorable. And the movie, you know, takes place during the Depression. Kit Kittredge is a, a doll who's a, you know, a girl who has lived in Cincinnati, Cincinnati during the Depression. Yep. Wants to become a girl reporter, and she does a little crime sleuthing as well. Yeah. And the movie is uh, the movie's very sweet and and very authentic in its depiction of America during the Depression. Uh, yeah. This movie's actually gotten great reviews. Yeah, that's the the nice part about it. The reviews have been great, and the kids will go to see it. I mean, Wally and this, so now they've got an option for yeah, next it's, week. Yeah, it's a good, it's a, it's a good time for kids between right. Wally and Kit Kittredge. It's All right, Jess, good to see you. Have a great rest of the weekend. You Thanks too. for being here. All right, Jess Cagle, everybody.